come to Mimi's Kitchen on this beautiful Monday afternoon. Oh, y'all, this weather is just absolutely wonderful. Um, I would like to, first of all, thank all of you who were concerned about our safety during the, the hurricane. Now, we do have a place on the coast, and it was certainly right in the, the line of potential damage from the hurricane, but... Thankfully, we were spared there. We had some debris and a lot of rain and all that, but no damage whatsoever. Now, we actually live in the upper part of South Carolina, and we did not receive anything much here other than wind and absolutely no damage and very little rain. So we were not affected that much by it. Now, if you would direct those prayers now to all the people who were in the path of this storm, Y'all, you know, there's a lot of devastation, and um, we certainly need to be lifting these people up. So, thank you for your concern, and we'll get right now to our cooking. All right, y'all, today we're going to make a sausage zucchini bake. And I did a trial of this a couple of weeks ago, and y'all, it is good. It is so good. Now, I have already set my oven on 350 degrees. And the first thing we are going to do is to brown our sausage. Now this is a one pound package. And now you can use any brand that you want to. And you can use mild, you can use hot, depending on your particular taste. I don't like the hot, you've learned that <laughs> very well. So I'm, I'm using the mild today. But um, you can use whatever you like and whatever brand you like. There's a zillion brands out there, y'all. This Snow Creek is wonderful. I don't know if you have access to it, but it is really good. So we're going to turn our eye on here on about seven. And y'all, this is funny. I get the question, why do I call this an eye? Well, I don't know. I, I was I, I, That's what we've always called it. And um, it's the same thing as the burner. It's just whatever you're used to calling it. So we're gonna put our And sausage. you said medium, that's medium oh, high. Yeah. Like a medium high? Yeah, that's like a medium high. Okay. And, all right, let's get all of this sausage out of here and into our pan. And y'all, just like my hamburger, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here because it helps to separate this sausage and make it a little bit easier to cook. So, okay, so we got all that out of there. And that's about a fourth of a cup of water. All right. Okay, y'all. All right, this is, this is brown and it's not gonna take it very long to brown. And, um, oh, by the way, this is not in the cookbook, y'all. So get your pen and pencil out, whatever you write with. And there's um, blank sheets in that book if you hadn't filled them up already. And so write this down if it's um, something you think that you would like. Now, y'all, this recipe came from a very good friend of mine. Hey, Sally. <laughs> She loves to cook and I love to cook. And when she finds a good recipe, she always shares it with me because she knows that, um, that I like to use as many different recipes as I can on my post. Now y'all, I want y'all to look at this. See that sausage has very little grease in it. That's why I like this Snow Creek. I don't even know where it's from, to tell you the truth. I tried to see on the package. Okay, now we just need to get that just ready. And you know, this recipe came from a very old cookbook. So it's one that has been around for a long time. One of those tried and true. And I'm going to tell you, we like it. We sure like it. Okay, we're going to take this sausage up. Get it in a bowl, and we go set it aside. 
I'm gonna add a tablespoon of all-purpose flour and just kind of stir that in there. It's just to kind of hold it together. Okay, we're gonna put this same pan right back on. And now, I have already grated my zucchini and it calls for three cups of grated zucchini. So I'm gonna show you the size zucchini that I used. And that makes just about one cup. So we've got our zucchini ready. We're gonna put that in our pan right there with the drippings that came from that sausage. Ooh, y'all, that makes it have such a good flavor. So we gonna just toss that around a bit. Okay, y'all, I'm putting two tablespoons of butter in here. Ooh, butter makes everything better. <laughs> it really does. So we go. Let that kind of melt. Okay. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So. Let me just mix this around. How did you grate that, just with a grater? I just grated that just with a hand grater, just the kind like you grate cheese with. And, and y'all, all we need to do is cook this until it's tender. So it doesn't have to cook very long. And probably, I'm saying five or six minutes would be plenty long enough because it's gonna cook again in the oven. Okay, y'all, now. This is one cup of cottage cheese, and I just measured it out of here. Now, I've already made one recipe by this, so this actually had two cups in it. So that is 16 ounces, and I use the small curd. I like it better. All right, now we go break us one egg here, and just feed it slightly. Okay, put that in our bowl. Did you say it was a cup? That was one cup. Okay. One cup of cottage cheese. All right, we're gonna mix our egg in there. Just mix that around. And then we're going to put a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And y'all, I'm not gonna measure a fourth of a cup. <laughs> but I'm gonna do this, so I'm gonna take a handful. Okay. Parmesan cheese. Okay. Just stir that around. Y'all, this is so easy so easy to do and taste so good. Okay, now, we'll be right back. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble all of this into our casserole dish and then put it in the oven. So we'll be right back. Okay, now for this recipe, you use an eight by 10 casserole dish. You don't want it as big as the nine by 13. So use an eight by 10. And y'all, the first thing we put in there is our sausage and just kind of evenly spread it. Next thing we're gonna put in there is going to be our zucchini. Okay, now, we got that all spread out. Got all our sausage covered. And then you put in the mixture that we did with the cottage cheese and the egg and the Parmesan cheese. Ooh wee, okay. And just kind of spread that evenly over your zucchini that's been sauteed. 
And y'all, you don't have to grease this dish because that sausage has enough grease in it to not make it stick. Okay, now we're gonna place this in our oven. All right, and we're gonna set our timer on 30 minutes. Whoa. On 30 minutes. And we just gonna leave it. It bakes for, for 30 minutes, so we'll be back with you shortly. Okay, y'all, our 30 minutes is up. Now, we're gonna take this out. Just sit it right here on the stove top. Cut our timer off. And then you sprinkle sharp cheddar cheese on top. Now, just whatever amount you would like. I'm gonna be very generous here. Okay, that's probably about a cup and a half that I put on there. Um, that's kind of whatever you would like. Just cover the top of it. We're gonna put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. Just enough to let that cheese melt good. And we left our oven on, so it's almost done, y'all. So we'll be right back. Okay, the magic moment is here, y'all. <laughs> okay, our timer's going off. That was 10 minutes. Oh, Kayleen, look at there. Mm. Oh, y'all, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, y'all, we're going to sit it there. We're gonna let it cool for a few minutes and um, and then we'll take some of it up so you can see kind of what it looks like when you serve it. So we'll let this cool and we'll be right back. All right, let's take this up. Now, what you can do, you can either just go ahead and slice this, cut it in little squares and maybe put it on the platter and um, and not have it in your casserole dish when you're serving it. Just whatever, you know. But it is a great dis um, casserole to have either as a side dish or as a meal with a, <laughs> with a salad to go with it. Or y'all, it would be good for breakfast or for brunch. So let's taste this. Okay, y'all. I tasted it, and y'all, it is so good. I think you will really enjoy it. It's, it's it's just a delicious casserole to make. So everybody, get busy, make it, enjoy it with your family. And oh, y'all, just enjoy this beautiful fall weather. It is so nice out there. Have fun with your family. Go see your grandchildren, or if you don't have grandchildren, Find you a little team to go watch play. Something like kickball or soccer or something like that. Y'all are so entertaining. And so it's something you'd really enjoy. So they have them everywhere. Just find you one and go watch it and just have just have a lot of fun. Everybody have a good rest of the week. And y'all be good to each other. And everybody shine for Jesus. <laughs>